Hello guys, welcome to another Week in Shave. I'm Brian here. I just want to wish everybody out there a happy Father's Day weekend. I'm going to be starting my shave. I got some new products that just came in the mail. I want to definitely check out and try. Uh, first on the agenda is the soap. I just got this in the mail. Uh, Sterling Soap Island Man. And I've been wanting to try this for a while. It only comes out during the summer, the, the hotter months. So been wanting to try this for a while. Last year I was trying to buy this, but they, they were sold out. And that was like toward the end of, um, I want to say like September or, or early October. Anyway, that's going to be my soap. And I'm going to be using my, um, my AMAC Game Changer Synthetic Brush. It's a 24 millimeter um, br brush with a synthetic knot. And this one has the uh, South Florida Wet Shavers logo on the bottom. Very nice brush. It's got a nice big handle, pretty good size handle with a lot of, with a little bit of weight. Uh, you can find this on Etsy from the AMAC site. I want to say it's AMAC for shaving on Etsy. So definitely check that out. You can get it. One of these brushes, they're super, super nice. I'm going to be using my uh, Gillette Slim Adjustable Razor. And I had this set on number four. So it's not a very aggressive setting because I have sensitive skin, so it's but it's a good setting for you know a good middle of the road setting for uh you know for most wet shavers. Uh, I'm gonna use my my Repera Platinum Lux blade, and I have the second this is the second uh use on this blade. And I found I find out that a lot of these blades, these these particular blades, they get better with each use, so all right, guys, let me go ahead and start wiping my face, and I will start soaping up, and I'll see you in a second. Welcome back, guys. I'm doing my first lathering my face here, my first pass. And one thing I can say is this soap, it has a very good strength and scent, so I open the top, and I can smell this soap out of my bathroom and right into the bedroom. And it has a very, very, very different scent. It's got a, like a very uh, citrusy scent. And what's unique about it is I smell a lot of coconut in this scent too. So it has a very good summer scent. So I know what they mean when they say that only this comes out during the summer. And this brush is very excellent. Excellent brush to face lather with. This is a very good knot. It's a little bit more stiffer than the uh, Sunrise or the uh, Flasson type knots, but it's a very, very nice knot. Very good for loading your face, face lathering. Almost close. It's almost close to like a Kind of like an Omega S uh, synthetic knot. Not quite that stiff, but pretty close. It's got a good backbone to it. But man, look at that lather. You can see that lather. Very thick lather. That's the one thing about Sterling soaps. They always have nice lather. They always lather up. They're always good value. They always smell good. Always have plenty of scents to choose from. All right, let's go ahead and start with the first pass. So I got this on number four. So I lathered my brush for about 20 seconds and, and that was pr pretty much enough to produce this much lather. One thing about selling soaps is like you can load as little as as little as 15 seconds and have enough lather to shave for three passes. Man, this stuff smells good. Oh man, this smells good. All right, 
That's one side of the face right there. Yeah, so I popped open this soap um, right before my shower. And I can smell it in the shower behind me. That's how potent this soap is. It's got that beachy, um, you know, warm weather vibe to it. Just smells very, very nice. And I wrote the ingredients down. I mean, there, I looked at the ingredient list before I bought it, but I want to read you. I want to read to you the ingredients in just a second. But it's got like a lot of different. Um, it's got a big smash of different ingredients to give it that complex, unique smell or scent. And this razor is. Doing really awesome tonight with this Platinum Lux Blade. This is one of my favorite uh, vintage razors to use. I almost like it's better than the Fat Boy, the Gillette Fat Boy, because you have a little bit longer handle to hold on to, which is a little more slimmer. I like the fact you can grab it onto it. It's got a much, much longer handle. All right, let me rinse my face. So guys, getting ready for the second soaping right here. Getting ready to do my second pass. Yeah, so the first pass was a with the grain pass, which was very, very nice. Got a very nice, very nice first pass with that razor. And as you can tell, this soap has plenty of, there's plenty of soap in this brush. This is my favorite, one of my favorite knots is, is this is one of my favorite uh, synthetic knots. If not the favorite synthetic nut I have. I like my I like my Razor Rock uh BC Silver Tip um synthetic, but this is pretty good. It's very good. Oh man, this soap smells good. It's got that definitely got that coconut smell to it. That coconut sunscreen, citrus smell. Hopefully you guys, can you guys smell that? It smells really good. But anyway, I got the greens written down. I want to show you what, what's basically in this soap. So it's a, uh, they describe it as an intoxicating blend of bergamot, lime, mandarin, coconut, jasmine, hibiscus, ylang, ylang, did I say it right? I think it's ylang, ylang. Ginger, sugarcane, musk, and rum. So it's got everything but the kitchen sink in it, but it's very, very, very good combination though. I just love this smell. I was, like I said, I was wanting to get it last year, and I didn't have a chance to, but I got it this year, so I just got that a few days ago, and I'm so glad I got this soap, because it's very, very nice soap. All right, so I'm gonna go across the grain on this pass. So I hope everybody's having a good Father's Day weekend. Fortunately, I had to work today, so today's Saturday. But I only had to work half a day, so it wasn't too bad. Well, so this is a very nice, very nice setting on this razor, number four. That's one half the face, just about.
Yeah, one thing I like about these repair blades, they, um, you know, they start out, they start out pretty sharp. At least to me, they start out pretty sharp with the first pass, the first use. And I use them up to about four times, and it seems like each time I use them, they actually get better and better. Uh, they start tugging on the fourth pass. I mean, the fourth, not fourth pass. They start tugging on the fourth use. So after about the fourth time, I usually toss them. But really, any blade from Russia, these Russian blades, this Voshkod, uh, oh, I'm trying to think what other, the other blade I use a lot. The Pulse Silvers. Usually, like the second use, the, the second use of that blade of each one of those blades, I get better, better shades with them. I don't know if it's just me or. Or if anybody else experiences that, but that's my experience with it. I hear that feedback right there. All right, so I have a little bit of a nick right there. I had that from the other day, so I kind of opened it up a little bit again. That's okay. That's okay because that's what these are made for. <laughs> All right, so we go underneath the nose. So I like, I love this razor. I mean, like I said, if I didn't say it again, the Slim Adjustable is probably my favorite vintage razor to use. I mean, this is a this is a perfect razor, perfectly made. I mean, perfectly designed, engineered. I mean, this thing is about what 1950s. So, for it to last this long, for it to do well this long, I mean, that's just amazing. I mean, this razor can hang with pretty much anything out there as adjustable in my opinion. Alright guys, I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and rinse and be back with a third pass. I'll see you back in a second. Alright guys, I'm back with my third and final pass. Just gonna face slather one more time. Yeah you can see all that lather still in that brush. Look at that. Plenty of lather still left. If I had, if I was a head shaver, I could probably do this and plus shave my head. Which I don't need. I don't need to shave my head because I have plenty of hair on my head. So all right. Uh, it's so funny. It's funny because I have a friend that shaves his head, and he has. I mean, he ha he's not going bald. He just likes to shave his head. So. The reason why he shaves his head, he was, you know, because he would live, live in Florida. So he said this keeps his, him shaving his head keeps him cooler. But you also got to worry about the effects of the sun on top of your head if you're not wearing a hat. I mean, yeah, worry about melanoma, skin cancer. So it's, even though you want to be cooler, it's a double edged sword because you can still get skin cancer unless you wear a hat. So it's so, okay, guys. I'm going to go up against the grain on my final pass. And this is where I always get a little snick right here. I mean, not always, but if I do get one, it's right there around my Adam's apple and my underneath my chin. Yeah, this soap is so so smells so divine. Perfect summer scent. Well, anyway, back to the razor. Um, I found this razor, this particular 
Gillette Slim Adjustable at a flea market for like 10 bucks. And it was, the guy, the gentleman that sold it, I don't think he really knew what he had. I mean, I wasn't really trying to take advantage of the guy, but, you know, he just wanted $10. He, originally, he wanted just, um, you know, just ask me what, you know, what I wanted for it. I just said, I just, I just gave a number out there, $10. He's like, okay, sold. But the interesting part is, he had some Gillette Techs that were at, actually priced with a price tag for twenty for twenty five and up more than this razor. So, so I didn't have the heart to tell him that that he probably wouldn't get anybody to really buy those. I mean, because they were pretty beat up. I mean, compared to this razor. And that I was getting, a, and this, and that this razor was probably worth more than those Gillette Techs. But anyway, I would encourage anybody that wants to try a vintage, vintage razor, definitely try the Slim Adjustable. You can find these; um, they're pretty common. You can find them on eBay, on the buy, sell, and trade. You can probably get them for about anywhere from like fifteen to. I'd say probably about 40 bucks maybe. A decent decent user grade one. This is where I always get a little bit of a hard to get those hairs underneath my nose. Yeah, but this is a very, very nice razor. I mean, it's really good for a, an experienced wet shaver or even a beginner. Because you can set that thing low and have a real mild setting. And set it high, as high as you want, up to 9 if you want to, for someone that likes, that desires an aggressive setting. Someone that's even more, um, great, willing to take that, uh, challenge more than I would. Hey guys, I'm at the end of the shave. Uh, last but not least, I'm going to be using the um, Sterling Soap Island Man Aftershave. And this particular one has menthol in it, so this is very nice, especially on a hot four day. Go ahead and shake it up and get it ready to go. Let's try this out. Man, it smells good. Whew. It's got a little bit of menthol to it, too. You can tell by my eyes I'm getting a little bit of a teary eye from the menthol, but, but man, it feels so nice. And I, like I said, I love these I love these new bottles, um, if I haven't mentioned before. Uh, Sterling's, when I got this a few days ago, I was expecting one of these kind of bottles. These smaller brown, uh, you know, just you know, the old style bottles, but these, this came in the mail, so, I mean, it's essentially, I want to say the same volume, 100 milliliters, but this looks bigger, though, I don't know why, this looks a little bit bigger, and I like the blue, I mean, the aftershave is blue, so, but it looks, just looks really nice with the, uh, with this type bottle, so, anyway, my recap, I used the Sterling Soap, Island Man Soap, I used um, my Slim Adjustable Razor set on four with my Repair Platinum Lux Blade. And it's the second use and it was very, very nice shave. I mean, baby bottom, baby bottom smooth. And also used my AMAC um, Game Changer Synthetic Knot Brush. Very, very beautiful brush. I wanna say it's the 24 millimeter loft, but it's very, very nice. Um, Synthetic knot, definitely try this out if you haven't had this or got this yet. But anyway, I just want to say one thing about um, I have to say one thing about Sterling soaps. Um, very very good customer service. Uh, Rod and Amanda, they deliver excellent customer service. Um, they this is this is probably the first soap maker I bought soaps from or ordered soaps from when I started wet shaving. 
and they always send you a couple things too also in the mail whatever you buy they always send you a couple samples either one or two and got a couple samples of soap here which is very nice very nice touch you know just can't beat customer service plus I like supporting a, um, I want to say Rod's in the Navy or something was in the Navy or he was a military uh, veteran so it's always good to support the military veterans but anyway definitely a very good awesome uh, artist in the support but anyway that's the shave and I hope you guys have a good happy I hope all the fathers here have a good happy Father's Day weekend and enjoy your Sunday enjoy your day and I will see you guys next time and please guys if you haven't subscribed please hit that like button on, on my video subscribe and also I'll be leaving a link for the um, AMAC for shaving brush that I was talking about which was this guy which you can get on the Etsy site sometimes you can get these from time to time on his, on his website or the South Florida Wet Shavers website if you want the South Florida Wet Shavers um, logo on the bottom but definitely a very nice knot I mean I would not steer you wrong this is a very very excellent brush but anyway guys take care and you guys have a good evening take care bye